Good morning students, welcome back to YouTube channel schoolquiz.com. As you know, my name is Danish Agarwal. As we have started our topics on top topics on separating of mixtures, today we will discuss our topic that is chromatography. <coughs> today we will discuss our separation technique, chapter number two, that is is matter is matter around us pure. Is matter around us pure in which we will discuss today we will discuss chromatography chromatography so let's start chromatography it is a separation of components so it is we can write it as separation of components with the help of same solvent separation of separation of component separation of component with the help of with the help of same solvent with the help of same solvent that is called chromatography that is called chromatography chromatography basically is like it depends on the solubility factor it depends on the solubility factor so we will see that is first of all we can write it as Chromatography, the term chromatography is derived from the Greek word chroma. The term, the term chromatography, the term chromatography is, is derived from, derived from Greek word, Greek word chroma, Greek word Chroma means color. Greek word chroma, which means color, which means color. Okay, derived from Greek word chroma, which means color. Next, and this technique was first used for the separation of color. Okay, this technique, this technique was first used for the for the separation of separation of color separation of color what we basically do we will take a strip of paper we will take a strip of paper basically we do uh, paper chromatography okay we will draw a line and we will mark a point that is spot of ink spot of ink spot of ink and this is our strip of filter paper strip of filter paper so what will we do we will place it in the water we will place it in the water like it is a beaker in which we will place our strip and this is our water like this one is our water this one is our water so this is our spot of ink this one is our spot of ink this one is our spot of ink and this is our glass rod or we can add it as a, it is a jar it is a jar so basically what we do we will get like different colors like one will be present on like that one will be on that and one will be on that all three get all three colors get separated on a different level on the basis of their solubility on the basis of their solubility like when water rises up one color find here second will be here and third one will be here so in the, with, with this with this the colors will be separated the colors will get separated okay it is we can write this it is that technique it is that technique 
इट इज दैट टेक्निक यूज फॉर सेपरेशन ऑफ यूज फॉर सेपरेशन ऑफ इट इज दैट टेक्निक यूज फॉर सेपरेशन ऑफ दोज कलर्स दोज कलर्स दैट आर दैट आर डिजोल्व इन डिजोल्व इन द सेम सॉल्वेंट That are dissolving the same solvent, but their extent of dissolving is different. Okay, so the separation of different components of a mixture, the separation of separation of different components, the separation of different components of mixture, the separation of different components of a mixture. is depend upon their is depend upon their solubilities depend upon their solubilities in the in the solvent in the solvent example separation of dye separation of dye present in ink separation of dye present in ink by paper chromatography by paper chromatography their extent of solubility is different so as we can say that as the water rises up as the water rises up as the water rises up rises up it takes it takes along with it it takes along with it dye particles it take along with its dye particles as we have already taken that strip that is our ink spot and likewise water rises up and water rises up like some spot is here some spot is there okay so dye particles usually as we know a dye is a mixture of usually a dye is a mixture of two to three colors dye is a mixture of two to three colors the component the component which is which is more soluble in water the component which is more soluble in, in water rises faster rises faster and gets separated as is faster and gets separated like first one will get here second one will here third one will here okay and gets separated now we will talk about its applications applications of chromatography now we will talk about applications of chromatography applications first one is first one is it is used for it is used for or we can write it as it is used to separate separate drugs drugs from blood it is used to separate drugs from blood second one is used to separate pigment from natural colors used to separate pigment from from natural colors and third one is separate colors in a dye separate colors in a dye
So this is all about our today's topic that is chromatography, which is soluble, which all components are soluble in the same solvent, but the extent of solubility is different due to which they get separated out. Who's ha who has higher solubility in water gets separated, gets move faster and gets separated. So this is based on our technique that is chromatography, in which we can separate the components of like a, of color of dye, like uh, drugs from blood. Okay. So this is all about today's topic chromatography. So thank you very much students. Thank you very much.